In this abstract expressionist painting, Whelan's use of broadly applied and splashed paint on a soaked untreated canvas symbolizes the sexual act. The circular forms of the composition might further suggest the reproductive cycle or, more generally, the cycle of life. Whelan ventured boldly into the expression of female sexuality in her work, and this theme is undoubtedly revealed here by the title Balling. Throughout the 1960s Whelan conducted a light-hearted exploration of sexuality, in which genitals often look like something out of a comic book. But what set Whelan apart from her peers was the frankness with which she treated the more intimate aspects of femininity, such as menstruation, and her endless technical experimentation. The National with Lyndon McIntyre and Peter Mansbridge. Good evening. The passion and vision of an extraordinary Canadian are being remembered tonight. The passion and vision of Joyce Whelan. The influential artist died over the weekend. She was 66. Whelan lives a remarkable legacy. Modern masterpieces on canvas, quilts, and more. But her influence strayed beyond the art world. Here's Adrian Arsenault on Whelan and the people she inspired. For all of the smiles, Joyce Whelan never stopped fighting. Battling poverty and loneliness as a child, battling stereotypes and a stubborn male establishment as an artist. Finding just one description for her is a battle of its own. Joyce was unique. She was a feminist before her time. She was a patriot. She was an impassioned artist. She was a good friend. Those are the sad words of someone who lost a dear friend this weekend. Whelan died of Alzheimer's. It chipped away at her throughout the 90s, slowly silencing the woman whose artistic voice boomed through Canada for decades. Joyce Wieland, 1930-1998, began her career as a painter in Toronto before moving to New York in 1962, where she soon achieved renown as an experimental filmmaker. The 1960s and 1970s were productive years for Wieland, as she explored various materials and media and as her art became assertively political, engaging with nationalism, feminism, and ecology. She returned to Toronto in 1971. In 1987 the Art Gallery of Ontario held a retrospective of her work. Wieland was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in the 1990s, and she died in 1998. 